After verifying the patient's identity using at least two identifiers such as first name and last name and date of birth, place your patient in the supine position head first with the affected arm along their body and the other above their head. For better image quality and dose reduction, it is advised to attempt to get the affected shoulder as close to isocenter as possible. Place your central ray on the humeral head with the internal axial laser light. Verify that the lateral laser light is at the mid-coronal plane of the shoulder. Remember to close the doors of the examination room and perform proper hand hygiene, such as a rub with an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Select your patient from the work list, then click on Patient Selection. Verify that the pre-filled information is correct and fill in the patient's weight and height. Finally, select the appropriate protocol. Check that the patient's position on the table matches the one indicated. Note that the patient's orientation is head first. After checking the scan parameters, click Confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and scan when the buttons flash. Repeat to obtain the lateral view. Click on Next Series. Unless indicated otherwise, the field will only required over the shoulder of interest. Verify that the selected scan field is wide enough to cover the entire shoulder. Place your slices box on the AP localizer in such a way as to cover the shoulder from the upper edge of the clavicle superiorly to the upper third or proximal third of the humerus inferiorly. Then check to cover the entire shoulder on the lateral scalp view. Check the consistency of the acquisition parameters, which are often pre-configured. Before continuing, check that the predicted dose is consistent with the diagnostic guideline values. Next, check the reconstruction boxes. For the acquisition of a shoulder CT, you will need at a minimum a sharper or edge enhancement reconstruction filter for bone study and a smooth reconstruction filter for the soft tissue study. Click on Confirm. On the keyboard, move the table and scan when the buttons flash. Verify the absence of patient motion on the acquisition. After clicking on End Exam, you can perform a multiplanar reconstruction according to planes requested by the radiologist. In a trauma case, it is possible to reconstruct a 3D with a volume rendered reconstruction. At the end of the examination, accompany the patient back to the changing room and tell him to get dressed. Provide the patient with any post-examination instructions as indicated at your facility. Thanks for watching. For more great clinical content and special offers on CE credits, follow us on socials.